We are very excited to have a real doctor with us, not like Harley's partner who's a fake professor. I've got a fake because she lied on house. her rental application. That's right. And she just a got real a text doctor, dear professor, yesterday. Doctor from the Lee <laughs> Waters, author of the Strength Squit Switch. No, switch. No. The Strength Switch. The strength Bum. Switch. By Lee Waters. Hey. Hey. hey, we did it. Strength Switch That's about awesome. positive parenting. I like this, and I'm excited that you're in here, and sorry that I'm looking at you like I'm desperate. Uh, I'm desperate. <laughs> <laughs> I get that a lot, actually. I, I, I guess I, I know uh, I haven't read any books about parenting because we just do it because we think we've had a child, so we are now qualified, mm-hmm. and that's not the case. No. And uh, I try and only reward the positive <coughs> things, behaviour, and yeah. not the. Ne- but I don't know how to do that. I, I feel like I've fallen into a trap of barking at my kid and then things get done. Yeah, look, you sound like most parents yeah. who also look at me with desperation. And um, <laughs> and look, the first thing I want to say is that's absolutely normal. It's okay. the normal way to go. And it's partly because of the way our brains were wired. You know? Yes. Um, from an evolutionary perspective, our brains were wired to scan the environment and notice the negative things in the environment more quickly than the positive things in the environment. Okay. And that's because if we quickly notice the negative, it's a threat. We can get out of harm's way. We can ensure our survival. Yes. So it's a, it's a really essential feature of our brain in terms of our survival, but you can appreciate that it's not the best feature of our brain when it comes yeah. to yeah. a positive parent-child no. relationship. And so what I do in, in uh, my work and in the book is teach parents how to sort of um, override that negativity bias yep. and learn how to more intentionally focus on the positive qualities in their kids, the good behavior. Okay. Um, and the other thing um, that I'll pick up on and what you said is that we do, we are looking at good behavior, but from a strength-based approach, what you're teaching yourself to do as a parent, um, but even if you're not a parent, if you're just looking and wanting to have a positive relationship with anyone, is to ask yourself, what's the strength that sits underneath that behavior? So you're doing the right thing in saying, I want to praise good behavior in my children, yes. but the next step would be to be on asking yourself, what's the strength that sits underneath that behavior? What's an example of that mm. in action? Yeah, that's a lovely question. So if you've got um, siblings, for example, if you've got yes. two kids and you're seeing them share... Yep. Well, we would know to praise that. We would say that that's good sharing, well yes. done, you know. But the strength would be you asking yourself what was in them that 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 motivated them to share. Oh. And so what you would say is, thanks for sharing. That was really kind of you. Yes. Or that was really fair of right. you. And so what you're doing is you're saying, okay, what's sitting underneath the behavior is a sense of kindness mm. in you or a sense of fairness. And it's this inner strength that you have that's motivating you to behave well. So every time as a parent, you reinforce that strength. Mm. Over time, then you don't have to be the person who praises the positive behavior because they're not doing it to get praise. They're doing it because they know they've got this strength like that is dog. driving that. <laughs> a little bit like a dog. <laughs> Wouldn't it be good if they were? It would be so yes. much more. Yes, that's what so I want. Less I complicated, want... more easy. Yeah. 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 So yeah. if they're not sharing, like if one of the kids takes the other kid's toys, do you yeah. go, oh, you're not sharing. That's the selfishness in you. You could do that and, and it probably wouldn't be a strength-based approach. But, um, but you pick up on something interesting, Nazim, because our tendency is to um, identify, like, you know, stop fighting, stop throwing things on yes. the floor, stop yelling. And so we go, we, we're in, when we're doing that, we're telling them what not to do. But in a strength-based approach, you just flip it. And so you think to yourself as a parent, well, what do I want them to do instead? What's the positive opposite to Throwing not something. sharing, fighting, throwing, yeah. and um, you call forward that positive behaviour. So in, in that situation, you'd say, hey, guys, how about some cooperation? Mm. Or like, right. I love it when you're so clean. Show me how clean you can be. So if they're fighting with each other, what, mm-hmm. do you, what would you say? Mm-hmm. So if they were fighting, then I would, well, the first thing is that I would ask for like, okay, guys, come down, time out. Oh, and yes. then I would appeal to their strength. So I'd say, okay, what's missing here? You know, where was the fairness? Where was the kindness? Show me your cooperation. I saw you doing it so well yesterday. Let's see if we can do it again today. Wow. This is foreign parenting. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds amazing. And like, I immediately, I want to go home and put it into practice with my child. Yeah. But I know that there's a lot of parents listening right now who are going, yes, but some days <laughs> it gets to a point <laughs> where true. I'm going to lose it. And <laughs> you're, you're just, you got to keep away from windows for fear you're going to kick them out of it. Yeah. So what do you, how do, how do I talk to my strengths? Yeah. <laughs> in that moment when I'm struggling to be the parent. And that's such a great question. And it is, and, and what you've identified there is strength-based uh, parenting. It's not just about seeing and building the strengths in your kids. It's about seeing and building the strengths in yourself. Yes. I mean, but in those moments of absolute tension, you, 
you can't just immediately go to a strength because that, that requires you to be able to think. Yeah. And when you're feeling that way, you're not you thinking. Think. So um, in the book, I talk a lot about mindfulness. In fact, it, one of the opening stories in the book is that scenario of me with my son, Nicholas, yeah. who's now 14 and yeah. he's a giant and he's taller than me. But yeah. in the story, he was eight. He'd got his first bike. Um, my husband and I had put a little spot to the side of the house to say, this is where you put your bike away. Yeah. Um, and he was eight. And so what he heard was, when you finish with your bike, just dump it at the front door and yes. mum and dad will put it away <laughs> yes. for you. You know. Yeah. I mean, he was really good at following those instructions. Like, <laughs> I, I really, know him really well. good. I know yeah. him well. <laughs> yeah. And and so in the book, that's the, that's pretty much the opening story is me just saying, Oh my God, like when am I you know, I'm a trained psychologist, I train rats, I can't even train my son <laughs> yes. to put his bike in the right yeah. spot. And so you do, you have this immediate kind of response and then there's a parenting script that goes at, you know, you have your own script inside your own head about I'm failing and I yeah. can't do this. And do you have two, um, do you have more than one kid? I do. Yes. <laughs> so I have. Did two. you, did you try, um, did you sort of parent them differently to see which method worked? <laughs> <laughs> just That'd did be great. No, I, she just did a great job on both kids. <laughs> oh, I genuinely want to eat your say. book. I know yeah, that's yeah. not going to help the information, but I'm, yeah. I just, I, it's not it how books sounds, work. It's not how books work. <laughs> I, I didn't get positive reinforcement growing up. Anyway, you know, a lot of us didn't actually, and that's why it's a little bit foreign to us. Oh, we got yeah. too much, and no one oh, likes yeah. those. And if you get yeah. too much, then it's false praise, exactly. And you're creating a big-headed, sort of overinflated, unrealistic yeah. child, and you don't want to do that. No. Strength-based is it's a, just a really nice, like it's kind of the seat in the middle. Yeah, it's not about being negative. It's not about being overly positive. It's about identifying the real strengths, those talents, those skills, those positive qualities in your kids seeing them for who they are and then building them as much as Love you can, it. getting them to play to their strengths rather Beautiful. than minimise their weakness. And before we let you go, because I know we've been talking for a while, but it's been so interesting. Thank you. I love that you talk about kids and parents meditating and practising mindfulness. This yes. has changed my life over the last couple of years. Yeah, me too. And often we think you could never get kids to be mindful. You could never get kids to be quiet enough for even a couple of minutes. Mm. But it is possible. Absolutely. And, um, and that's been one of the biggest things. I do a lot of work with schools and the teachers say the same thing. They're like, there is no chance. Yeah. Um, but I think each of us, regardless of our age, craves a sense of inner peace, yes. Yes. especially in today's world. It's Absolutely. so frenetic, but, you know, it's this kind of hyper adrenalized world. And, and ki if you can show kids what peace feels like, they want to come back to it. Mm. They want to yes. come. I mean, my kids tell me, you know, I'll be driving in the car and someone cuts me off and I won't say what I would say <laughs> on radio, yeah. but yeah. they'll be like, mum, you know, take a deep breath. It's time for yes. some mindfulness. Oh, oh, you know, oh you know, Can I borrow your kids? I'll say too, it is, it's totally yeah. a thing that kids, my kid, it can be described as hectic. and he, <laughs> But he does um, mindfulness. Yeah. And he actually does guided meditation with people. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But he actually, pra he's, he's a practitioner. He I does, love it. He does it. It's he really takes people nice on guided. You know, and what my, I've done some research on this to sh and I've been able to show that the more mindful the parent, the more mindful the child. So, so this great. quality spills over into your children. But what I found in my own home is it's reciprocal because now that I see yeah. him being mindful, Mindful and it reminds me, oh, yeah, okay, Lee, take a breath. On your leave. Okay. Well, I want to adopt you and keep you here all the time. Uh, Dr. Thank Lee you. Waters, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. Yay. The Thanks Strength Switch is available now at Good Bookshops. Um, I might preemptively read it now before yeah, the yeah, kids sure. come. Who knows? <laughs> Thanks, mate. Thanks, Lee.